Look in the Hello. Hello. This, to is the, this, is, this is the greatest port ever. It's a pure <laughs> masterpiece. Thanks, Obama. Thanks, Bam Obama. You know, Bam I can tell they Bam worked Bam really Bam. hard on this game. Can't you tell? Yep. Yeah, exactly. I appreciate all the developers who work to get all the performance issues when running. You just credit the developers, but I'm just saying, guys, you should have looked. You should have looked at this and patched it up. Do you know how long it took them to add quality options to this game? Two years. I wonder. Two years. Yeah, there was a mod before that did a bunch of this stuff, and then one day Bandai Namco woke up and was like, Oh! I see this is popular! You better patch the thing! I thought they were gonna send us cease and desist. Doesn't like, matter. Like Doesn't Actually, the guy who wrote the mod for this game has a bunch of other mods that actually really help out a lot of other Mantos releases, like Viseria, Zestria, Vesperia. I think his name's like Kaliadin. I should check that out. I should check that guy out. They're only PC mods, but yeah. He's done a lot of work to basically fix Namco's shitty implementations. Yes, in other words, uh, the modders are fixing a, a AAA company's mistakes. A trend much. that we sadly see very commonly. Anyway, come on, Hawk, come back! Where did Hawk go? Went off somewhere. You want to go punch a sandwich? He went He's to probably go out hunting just... for Garman. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Well, no, he went to punch Garman's sandwich. Garman's sandwich, huh? Well, I guess while we're waiting, we can go ahead and. Do something really quick. Do you wonder what a Darmian sandwich is? There's another costume you can get for Rainy, but it requires a ridiculous amount of mosquito chips, and I don't have time for that shit, so one moment while I hack in a bunch of casino chips. You mean legitimately obtain? A bunch of casino chips. Oh, what are you talking health? about? This is legitimately obtained. This is legit. Um, legit. Sure, honey. Yeah. <laughs> totally legit. Okay, 100% legit, not fake. Um, At the end of the last part, you should put just some random letter that says part two. <laughs> because at this point, you might be needed. Where is it? Well, we, we need to wait for Hawk anyway, so it's fine. I was gonna say, bring the you know what a Dar I know what a Darman sandwich looks like. It's just a regular sandwich, but all the ingredients are canned food. You know what? That That's completely in line of him. Spam sandwich, though, that's interesting. I am back. Welcome back. Welcome oh, back. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. 
All right, so I guess we won't ask with this then. That's fine. All right, so get ready. I'm going to have a ton of fun with this one. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll explain, oh, maybe. I'll explain the mechanics of how this particular thing works once we're done with it, but you're going to want to see it. Oh, no. Angleman. Angleman. Hey, Sheena's dressed like a ninja. No, that's Sheena. Yeah, that's Sheena. That's what I said. Mm. Mm. Don't think I want to be your friend or anything. God. <laughs> Baka. Baka. Need to eat more stuttering. Ba -ba 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 like well, that. Where is it? Okay, this is our standard healing store, but whatever. to me. So right. Leave it All to right. you? What are you gonna do? I figured something like this might happen, so I prepared a little something the last time we were here. Oh? What are you gonna do, Zelda? Come here for a second. Huh? Oh. Okay. Wait a minute. I'm gonna call 1-800-COLETTE. 1-800-CONTACTS! It's a trap. 1-800 Colette today. Good work, Chosen. Now, bring her to me. Sure thing. Oh? Huh? Oh! Yep, it's a crap. Wait a minute. Poof. Poof. Zelos! What the hell are you doing? Yeah, this might be shot crony into a volcano. Oh, shut oh. up. <laughs> I'm just putting myself on the winning side. <laughs> you... You feeling what you're trying bitch. to do is hopeless and mean. Should have never trusted a guy with a funny outfit. What's the big deal? Colette wanted to be a sacrifice, remember? Zelos. Is he trying to traitor. do a thing? It's so funny a that you would say that. Thing. It's not like you trusted yeah. me in the first place. Betray you? How amusing. Zelos was our spy from the very beginning. Isn't that right, Zelos? Is that true? It's not true, is it? Please say that she's lying. I side with the strongest. It was a simple matter of weighing the renegades, Crucius, and all of you. You were leaking information to the renegades too? I can't believe you! You were always a pervert, oh. but I never doubted that you were a good person when it came down to it. Why, thank you, my sweet voluptuous honey. But in the end, I choose this side. Because Mythos promised to release me from my fate as a Chosen of Mana. You hate being the Chosen so much that you would betray your friends? Oh yeah, I do. It's because of that title that my life has been a total joke. I can't stand it. I can't wait for Celeste to become the Chosen instead. You're lying. I still trust you, you hear me? Well, You're the one that told life. me I, mean, I could trust you. A joke. What are you, stupid? And not Karima. even a funny one. Hurry and take Colette. I leave the rest to you. Lloyd! 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 So, this is how it ends. Why, Zelos? Poor to you. You were our friend. Friend, huh? <laughs> I never did get you to trust me, though. That was... Don't feel bad about it. I mean, I did deceive you after all. Well, there's gotta be some oh. sort of explanation for all this. This is just another joke, right? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I'm just a weak, lazy bum. All I want is a fun, easy life. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. 
I beg your pardon? Your kind of party. Oh, sweet yeah. Mary Jesus and Neptunia. Yeah, I'm gonna beat him up yeah. now. Kill oh, him. Yeah. Might as well, well at least you can enjoy out, this. Right? We'll change outfit. You can call me whatever you like, but it's not gonna change it. You ready? Get ready for you to die. Oh, okay, first things first. This this song is called Beat the Angel. What? That's exactly what we're gonna do. Also, never should have trusted a guy with a funny mask. Oh, uh, I know you're probably having. Ready for this? Ready? Like, a lot of good questions, but no I can only answer you if you did this. Cradle is better. Remember when I asked you which one of them you like most? That will that will become relevant. I'm gonna do this for this answer. Way. So, he said that he, he said that he hates being the chosen. Uh, he is the chosen. Chosen to be the butt of every joke there, he made. But that just said not even they can take him from. <laughs> so, if you watched part 2, I guess this is Lloyd's vengeance for being sold out. This is part 2. Um, this is revenge for the hot, for the hot springs, Dean. Revenge. Yeah, this is canon. Yep. That, Wop. that was pretty good. Zelos. It's okay. To tell you the truth, I was getting pretty tired of living anyway. Don't talk like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they just say Colette. you just want an easy life. She's below, in the Hall of the Great Seed. Make sure you save her. Why did you fight us? Because my life was a mistake. But once I'm gone, Celeste might be happier, and they'll finally let her out of that abbey. Don't tell me that's why you... <laughs> you just have to take him to the art of the just a dies. Make sure you destroy my Crucius Crystal. Damned idiot. Dead. What? <laughs> exactly Is that damn idiot. Did he just... Did he just Looks die? Like do we just yeah. kill him? Yep. Uh, now what do we do with the outfit? What the fuck? What the hell do we do with the outfit? Okay, so... now. Okay, so... now. Here's the thing. Uh, so... So, funnily enough, we had a... We had a choice. There are two ways this scene can go. The first way... And the most normal way is us fighting the guardians that Pronina had with her. But there's a second secret way you can get. And guess which way we got. Yep. Yeah. Uh, beat up Zelos? Yep. Zelos beat didn't up. have Zelos didn't have to die. Well this is yeah, the ending of this game then? Not really. The game's the game's built. Actually, most people wouldn't know how to trigger this. It was only through some re through some research that was done that this way was found. You can only get this path if you talk to Kratos and the Flanoris, which we did. Huh. Oh. Anyway, I have no idea if we're gonna get through this place get through this place in time. We'll try, but if we don't, <coughs> then I'll just redo it later. Meanwhile, I'll be the one to say that Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we are present here. What did we do? That's the one. How was that? That's the one. Did I have to throw someone with a funny eye? I learned right. that I learned that Zelos died of Ligma. Ligma <laughs> John. Although to be he fair, to be fair, 
Zelos wasn't. Well, no, that's not really. Huh, that's not really fair, though, to be honest, because Zelos did have a did have a shit life. Like the moment he, I'm gonna be completely honest. The moment he said that he really hated his life, I immediately thought, "Damn." Did all of the jokes we were making, we were making about him really hurt him? It's like, damn. Just being the butt of every joke and misfortune caused Zelos to get super depressed, and that damn, we everyone let... else was just none the wiser. Really put him in a different perspective, huh? It's like, okay, this is coming from me, not only personally, but as like a fan of like, I've seen this. Or like a fan of anime and JRPGs, all that kind of stuff. It's like this thing about like a character like like wanting to sacrifice his own life for like a bigger goal for like no other reason. I don't know how to word put into it, but it's kind of hard. Like that doesn't guarantee that I like it. It's just. It's kind of a touchy <laughs> thing to get off upon. It's like in the case of Zelos, it's like none of the party really knew that Zelos had a shit life. We all, they all knew that he was the chosen and that he had a very special job to do. It's like not even they knew that he was actually a spy. Or I think that angel chick, I already forgot, forgot, forgot the name. I, that's not, I've seen this play out several times, but in this case, damn, I kind of feel bad now. Oh, by the way, we're in the great, we're in the great tree right now. Ah, oh, thank you for pointing out the area that's full of vegetation and trees. I wouldn't- we never would have guessed which area this place was. Ha ha ha! doesn't look all that great to me. I, it may be good, it's certainly not mediocre, but I don't know <laughs> great. It's, it's the mid-tree. Like, yeah, it's a, it's a yeah. mid-tree. It's a mid-tree! Yeah. not like you notice this noticeably obvious, very large- tree trunk that goes up to the heavens. The mid tree. <laughs> That's funny. So what would have happened? Mid tree if... and the mid cord. So what would have happened if he went with the first? Went with the first route. We still keep Zelos. Yeah, we would keep Zelos, but we wouldn't be able to have Kratos. Oh. Remember so the basically, question I initially asked during the during the beginning of the of this playthrough, Zelos or Zelos or Kratos, it was answered to that part specifically. Why do you think I asked you guys which you liked more? Well, we just well, I just had to be honest. It's like, great Kratos has done stuff, but he isn't a bad person. You guys let up! Like, hey, tiger, wanna charge? I don't know. Howdy, no. Uh, uh, it's kind of hard to explain to me. Like, I, heard, I, I think I already talked about this the last time, how he basically did all that stuff, but I said that it's not his fault that it happened. He was just thrust into a fate that he didn't choose for himself. In the case of Zellos, I kind of forgot. Like, I know he's like the chosen, but his motives were unknown. One fight after for sure another. He was Top really Top allied with him. I guess what we're going to the shadowings about Bellows is in that eventual frail. I might have to rewatch the video of these and do some research you about it, but. It's really important that I go to detail this kind of stuff so I can better understand why this position is made in the first place. I don't 
the big is like in hindsight, is like who can we trust? Instead of like who's good and who's evil. This was a pretty mm -hmm. foundational game for me because this was the first RPG that taught me that people and villains have wants and that good and evil isn't just a blind thing. Exactly. That's exactly right. It's like you learn that like good and evil there's always, like, some caveat to it. And you may not know who those people you trusted over the years may not may turn out to be some asshole who's actually a spy something from somewhere. Or a person you thought you thought was evil could be good. It's just kind of like you kind of just have to follow your heart and go with the best scenario. And whatever happens, happens. Yep. It's like in life, it, it happens. One fight after Shit another. happens. One day, I really come to realize that some of you thought you might trust it with something very, very terrible to you. Okay. Pancakes. Don't know much about this. That was just I don't know how, just how do I, like... Uh, I don't know how do I tell you, like, what this you need to do if you specifically come across this situation, especially since it's one and not I've never experienced. I don't know. Maybe one day it looks like it's kind it's kinda of part of life to happen. Maybe a person you thought trusted you just stabbed you in the back, well this is gonna be a peep. So you really gotta take that it's in and kick. put matters to your own hands. Not trying to Some like these bad kids. Ready? Right. Oh uh, yeah, I guess in that environment is not fine. No way! You will resort to violence. I like Rushi's I don't know. I like Rushi's post on We Will Resort to Violence. We are oh god. Yeah, you said that was me earlier. That yeah. was funny. Da 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 one I know it's not like people I including myself like doing that violence. I'm looking at you, my dude. Like that? I'm looking at you, Ryan. I know you like doing that violence. No way! Top, 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 win! You picked the wrong guy to mess with. Oh, uh. I guess that kind of brightened the mood over what the hell just happened and I was trying to explain. I guess that before I was explaining that I was explaining that stuff about what I said about like what happens if your friends stop doing the fact some other time. It's just that it's kind of a hard <laughs> thing to explain with just words. But uh, I'll just leave you with this. If there is someone in the party that's wearing a stupid outfit and a funny mask have a close eye on him. He, he could be Ilatore for all I know. Could be, or he could be a phantom thief. Or he could be Pantalone. 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 <laughs> he va pantalones. Oh dear. That's why he's still so stuck is in the back. He was a pantalone. Can I just mention how much I love this music? I like the music when we were entering the Sign of Thunder. <clears throat> it's like an enhanced more version of the Upper Temple. Yeah, this kind of feels like... This kind of feels like an endgame dungeon music. 
Uh, it's not quite, but we're getting closer. There's too many of them. Yeah, we might talk to Jackie. We're close, we're close to it, guys. No, I won't say, like, he's got, like, one function after this. Yeah, one after this. just warming up. Yep, yep. <sighs> so we've got one dungeon left, and then it's the final dungeon. Okay. Reinforcements! Oh, that'll huh? take us, like, two more streams to finish the game. Oh no, it's gonna take us a lot more, because we still got side quests and we have to do, plus there's an optional place we can go to. Oh no, we're not gonna be done that quick. Okay. You picked the wrong oh, yeah, guy to make no, the wrong green. Oh, no, Genus got poison. Oh, wait, that poisoned. was Genus. Genus is green. Yeah, Genus got poison. There we go. Gang Greenus. Genus is Greenus. <laughs> that is not muy Greenus. So, no, since... I'm hoping I can find the same point. I would hate not that much of this shit again. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know if you guys saw the message, I, but I started playing Nier Automata. Oh yeah. That was so far. It's so far, it's looking really good. I didn't get to get very far in it, but I think that's because I still on playing hard mode. Was it normal? Either yeah. way, it wasn't easy, and my brother kept like, in front of me for was just not, up. not playing on easy. Because I was definitely struggling. Uh. Oh, screw it. I have to play Baldur's Gate on easy because I suck at D&D RPG style. Just play whatever makes you able to enjoy the game. Fuck it. Like, I know, but I wanted like, the yeah. challenge. I'm tired. Yeah, we, we get that. Yes. Don't make fun of you for playing easy. Yeah, my no, my brother was mocking me for not playing on easy because I was how much I was struggling. Or just don't play or, or just follow the advice of Sega Sun Zero. The only true way to play is classic mode. Classic Although, I will admit, right. if you thought the plot twists in this game were crazy, I absolutely cannot wait for you guys to put the, when we play Xeno Gears. Eh, not Xeno Gears, um, Xeno Saga. Xeno Saga is gonna be a trip. Which came first, Xeno Gears or Xeno Saga? No, Xeno Saga. Xeno Gears is the first game. Yeah, no, Xeno Saka is gonna be a trend. If you want to differentiate what kind of Xeno Gears the game are, Xeno Gears will start the guy with a ponytail. Xeno Saka starts a robot waifu, and Xeno Blade starts multiple anime boards. Anime swords and their anime hair. Actually, you know what? This, this works out actually. Cool. We. Cool, we can actually end here because we created the shortcut. Alright, nice. so while we go ahead and do this shit and just farm memories for experience for the rest of the stream, what did we learn? Yeah, we already did that. Yeah. That betrayal no, we didn't. still hurt. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. But I did. I asked that question earlier, like about five, five, ten minutes ago. Uh, I didn't learn anything yet. I, I like, learned. I didn't get to say anything. <laughs> sure, if it's any consolation, I learned that Zelda's died a virgin. Oh. Uh, I learned that you do not trust him. He's only out. I learned two things. I learned two things. Never trust guys with <laughs> funny masks, and that Zelda's died of Ligma. Ligma job. Ligma being being Lloyd in the party. I learned that bath scenes are sometimes incredibly boring. I've learned that this game has the best programmers and the best typesetters, <laughs> and it is a model that other games should follow, especially in stability. 
I don't know if the trail is still hurt. I learned. You know what? You know what else I learned? What? That your model has been showing. Healing circle. This whole time. I probably didn't turn the camera on. Whatever, it's fine. This it's whole showing time. you. Yes. We're gonna call this the scuff. The scuff. Yeah, this the scuff scuff. part two. <laughs> Yeah, it's showing an OBS. It's just you guys can't see it, so it's fine. Oh, wait, I just I also learned I also learned something else. This is the port of all time. By the way, I will reiterate this. I am not playing Tales of Symphonia 2. If you want to play that game, find out what happens to us, go right the fuck ahead. But I have played it once, and I am not touching that piece of shit. Yeah, I'm guessing you didn't like it. There are not a lot of people like Tales of Symphonia 2. Reinforcements. I am not touching that piece of shit. Did you tell me a vague reason for why people hated it? Tell you what! Tell you what, though, I will make a copy out. If they somehow release a PC port of that game, I will consider it. Does, doesn't Tales of Symphonia 2 have, like, really good music, though? Not that I remember. You're gonna regret Cause it has no, they made it. No, it was part of the PS3 release. They remastered it for the PS3. Because I remember one track in the game, that really awesome track, that went like. But yeah, like I said, if they make the, if they make the PC port of that game, that is the only way I will consider it. Otherwise, fuck no. All right, that thing is coming. That just that that definitely sounds like a kill scene. Anyway, yeah, I'm just beating up flowers for experience. Reinforcements. Huh? Like, I okay. think I just de first developed this big fan for what music are made by other composers and what music are composed by Michael Sakuraba. Oh, speaking of tales, I'm almost done with this area. I just have to finish that post game dungeon tomorrow. Post game dungeon is long. Like, very long. Oh no, I already went through like a half of it. I just gotta get through the random room part. Yeah, I guess this goes without saying, but that dungeon gets you a lot of experience. A large group. <laughs> <laughs> but once it's done, I think you're gonna be near the level 100. Well, I'm already in the 70s. Yeah, but once you come out, you're already gonna be like close to, if not already at the 100. I want to be You're able to start Xenoblade this. this weekend. <laughs> also, don't forget your hoverboard. You're gonna be using it a lot. Oh yeah, I use the Geo board every chance I get. The launch speed is too freaking slow. Can we do it on the Besides, I like uh, the bonus. I like the bonus effect that if you're high enough level, it can kill enemies for you. That was just warming up. Dragon's talent reminds me of the Dragon Persona Five, where if you're higher level enough, you can one shot enemies without even having to start a battle. All right, everybody. I will see you on Sunday, where we will play more Booty 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 Brood Vampire Blood Slash Booty Booty Brood. But, until then, see you later! Slash a mobile. Take care, guys. Take it easy. See you guys Bye. Bye.